what's up peeps welcome back to another episode of pa trout films i'm brandon so as you guys can see it is a beautiful sunny day out uh, right now it's actually tuesday afternoon uh, it's a little bit after work my wife and i are actually taking the puppy dog out for a walk on one of our local trails out here and there's a nice little uh like wild creek that runs through it has wild browns but it also has stocked rainbows in it um not 100 percent sure what i'm going to catch today the last time i was here i caught a nice little wild brown on a uh, blue winged olive dry fly so honestly i'm just gonna kind of poke my head around see what you know potentially is hatching off here obviously throw some dries around with a uh, dropper nymph on right now i do have a byo dry on with uh, a caddis emerger so we'll see what ends up happening um, obviously i'll bring you along for the adventure as soon as i make some casts and hopefully if i hook into a fish you guys will see it so maybe you'll uh, get a glimpse of the wife and the puppy dog here too as well maybe they'll make an appearance so all right guys see you soon Fish on, guys. Fish on. There we go. It's like the uh, caddis emerger. He's a real little guy. I think he's just a little wild brown. Yep, little wild brown. Oh, no, no. There we go. Now we got him in the net, guys. Oh, no. Popped right out. Like I said, took the little cat of merger. Alrighty, guys. Just got a little uh, wild brown here. Look how pretty he is. Alright. Alright. Back to the depths. Alrighty guys, got one on the dry. There we go. Right there in the corner of the mouth. What a pretty fish. Let's get that uh fast fly out of his mouth. There we go. Back to the depths. Oh yeah, I love a dry fly. There we go. There we go. 
go guys Got another little one let's see if uh, I can give you a little picture of him here alright buddy you guys see that right in the mouth corner of the mouth there pops right out because it's barbless Get him unwrapped. Oh, <laughs> there goes my rod. One last look. Back to the depths. Oh no. I don't know if you guys saw that. I literally hooked into a fish and my line got hooked into that little tree there and he got off. Obviously that's what I get for using barbless hooks, but there's a couple of rise and fish in here. I figured I'd continue throwing right up in here. Um, just so you guys are aware, I am using a bluing dollop at the moment. I think it's a size 16, if I'm correct. I mean. 14 or, or excuse me 18 or 16 I'm surprised these tiny little fish are slamming this thing so clearly they want it clearly I'm throwing the right things uh, the one thing I've learned that is the issue with dry fly fishing is you don't want to stop and my wife is with me right now with the dog. And I don't want to stop. Especially when fish are rising. Wow, this is like a beautiful hole right here. I have to just throw in. I saw some rising fish. I stick. one further up here that I'd really love to get. Just gotta watch my casting room. Still rising. a little bit ahead of my fly and I'm that's a tight tight squeeze to really I don't know we'll see on that one it's a terrible cast if it takes it I'd be surprised all right peeps thank you guys for watching today's video uh, as you guys can see I am ending things off in my kitchen <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it did get too dark uh, and I just was not able to make the outro out on the stream. So decided to come home, uh, obviously make it, you know, where it's nice and bright in here. But as you guys can see, not a bad day. I managed to pick up a few. Um, honestly, I just love dry fly fishing for uh, wild browns or just, you know, fish in general. Um, but those wild browns just seem to slam the surface for those uh, dry flies. I uh, wasn't sure if I really filled you in. I was using a blue winged olive. Um, that's what they were kind of keying in on. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, I ended up losing a bunch of flies and I was getting frustrated and the wife wanted to go home. So the dog was getting a little antsy and it, it was time to go home. You know, we were losing light pretty quick. So anyways, guys, appreciate you guys watching the video. Like I said, probably going to be a little bit of a shorter one, but you know, obviously I uh, always appreciate any support that you guys give on the video. So with that being said, definitely like the video. If you guys are enjoying the content I'm producing, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and uh, I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.